This woman was bitten while mowing her yard. Then months later, dark spots began covering her body while out in the yard mowing her lawn. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Now back to the story. One day, Calvino was bitten by an unidentified bug. Soon after, she was struck by a mysterious rash, which saw the skin in by her ankles turn green and purple. Gradually, brown spots and other unbearable edges spread all over her body. Doctors were stumped. No one could diagnose what it was. Alvina from Oklahoma believes her problem all stemmed from her cutting the grass. One day, she remembered. She was bitten by an insect in her yard, but she didn't know what the bug was. It wasn't long before her health began to suffer. First, Darmac appeared on Calvin's ankle. She described it to be health-related. The TV talk showed the doctors as being green and purple in color and around the size of a quarter. Soon, however, the unexplained blemish grew bigger and bigger and the rash began to spread across her body. Several weeks after the blemish first appeared, a dark mark appeared on Calvin's arm. But then another spot appeared. And another. And another. The rash gradually spread until it covered her arms, hands, torso, and legs all the way down to her feet. Though Calvin also had some dark blemishes on the back of her head, her face was spared, but the rash on the rest of her body was so unsightly she permanently covered up. Even in the hottest of summer, she'd wear long sleeves and pants to hide her condition. Calvina covered her body out of shame. Embarrassed by the multitude of spots that dotted her skin, and she knew they were odd-looking. She knew because strangers would stare at her. They looked at her as though they might catch whatever affliction punctuated her flesh. As uncomfortable as others may have been, looking at the blemishes, living with them was even more excruciating. Also, if you have not done already, please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Now back to the story. The itching that the spots caused was bearable and often kept Calvin awake at night. She'd scratch the irritation until the thick, hard spots would bleed. Rashes affected every aspect of Calvin's world. She had difficulty sleeping at night and during the day she felt people would judge her without knowing her. Furthermore, it also caused problems at work. If ever Calvin started to edge while at the office, it would turn into a major distraction. I remember a time I had to leave away from my desk because I went into an itch attack. Calvin explained to the doctors, and the rash is everywhere, so when I go into an itch attack, it's probably going to be a little while, and so I come back out and I was actually bleeding through my pants. Calvin went to see a dermatologist who performed a biopsy on her bumps. However, the best diagnosis on offer was that she had perigo, which is a catch-all term for the spots. The poor woman was left none the wiser as to what was causing the affliction or how to stop it. Calvina tried every medication doctors prescribed to treat her condition. However, no matter what lotions, pills, or medications she was given, nothing eased the itching or stopped the rashes from spreading. After seven years of living with the problem, she was desperate. With nowhere to turn, Calvina contacted a doctor. On the show, top-level dermatologist Dr. Sonia Batra performed an array of tests to discover what was causing Calvina's condition. Dr. Batra described the Perigo as one of the most interesting cases she's ever seen. Through the test Dr. Batra performed, she learned that Calvina's rash developed as a result of two underlying conditions that had never been diagnosed. Once more, the dermatologist learned that both disorders could be easily treated. Could this be the end of seven years of discomfort for Calvino? Dr. Bondra explained the blood test sheep or form revealed that Calvino had a case of hypothyroidism. This occurs when insufficient levels of hormones are produced by the thyroid gland. The condition is in fact a fairly common one and results in a chemical imbalance in the body. This can give rise to a number of symptoms including fatigue, depression, and dry skin, and if the chemical imbalance remains untreated, the condition will grow worse. In Calvina's case, however, Dr. Batra discovered a secondary issue that exacerbated the problem. Calvina's biopsies revealed a much rarer condition called urticarial vasculitis, this autoimmune affliction that causes blood vessels to swell combined with hypothyroidism. Dr. Batra believed that this was a cause of itching and unsightly blemishes all over Calvina's body. And there were more good news for Calvino. Not only had the cause of her condition been identified as it happened, it was also easily treatable. Of course, the news for Calvina came as a huge emotional relief. Having lived with this condition for so long, she'd lost all hope. 
Dr. Batra identified the first step was to regulate Calvina's hormone production. Once the hormones were more balanced, it could then be treated to make the itching stop. When the swollen blood vessels settled down, work could begin on Calvina's unsightly blemishes, which themselves were a symptom of everything else, whereas others said Calvina had hives, that they were merely looking at her symptoms. She had been there for taking the wrong medications for seven years. Consequently, she had seen no improvement in her condition. Dr. Batra, however, had finally identified the root cause of Calvina's issue. With a treatment place and plan, Dr. Batra referred a patient to Dr. Adrian Lamb's skin care clinic in Oklahoma City, near where Calvina lives. There, she'd undergo a course of steroid injection expected to last anything from six months to a year. Happily, Lamb agreed to take the case free of charge, something that added to the emotion Calvina was already experiencing. I didn't think you'd hear me, she said, but you heard me.